There is a reason why I am cash poor and gold rich. And it's simply because I have found the true secret to becoming truly wealthy. Now becoming truly wealthy, something we all wish we could achieve. And I'm here to tell you it's actually entirely possible. Now the reason I say I'm cash poor and gold rich is because I actually am. Now I like to get all of my capital, be it my fiat currency cash, working for me in my investments. Now I have multiple different sectors of investments, be it index funds, gold bullion, potential buy-to-let properties, and more. So the reason why I don't like keeping cash stale is simply because it isn't working for me. Now, you don't have to be a seasoned stacker or investor to know that when you've got cash sitting simply in cash form or in the bank account, you'll be getting next to no interest. In this short video, I'm going to be showing you and telling you how to really make your cash work for you, not against you. Now, getting rich. There's a simple trick to really start the topic of this conversation off. And it's from a book which I absolutely loved. It started my investment, Love to the Game, which was Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Now, the simple method the rich use to get and stay rich is by simply building their asset column and lowering their liability column. Sounds simple enough? That's because it is simple enough. Now, all you need to do is sit down and actually work out how many liabilities you've got, what those liabilities are, and try and offset them with assets instead of liabilities. And that is as simple as it gets. Build your asset column instead of building your liability column. Now, moving back to gold being the topic of this video that I like to be cash poor and gold rich. We know that gold doesn't actually make you rich, but it certainly does keep you rich. Now, as I said in the beginning of this episode, I have multiple different sectors of investment, which I like to use for my capital to be invested. And I truly am cash poor. I have very little cash in any form at any time. That's because I want all of my cash working for me, not against me. Now, if you've watched this far into the video, thank you very much. I hope you're enjoying it so far. Lots more exciting stuff to come. But make sure you stay till the very end of this video because I've got a very exciting unboxing for you guys. Now, for some people, they might find the getting rich process works for them. But unfortunately, the majority of people, it doesn't work out. Now, this is a proven case in point by investing in simple things like index funds. Maybe you invest in the Dow Jones, the S&P 500 property as a passive income or case in point, as you can see in front, gold bullion. These are all long term, potentially low to medium risk investments you can make to pretty much guarantee that you will be building your wealth over a compounding period of time. Now we move on to compounding as we're on that topic. Now building your wealth is essentially about budgeting, having a mindset and using that to compound the interest and the money that you invest. Now let's break that down. Budgeting, in my opinion, it's the most important thing when trying to get control of your finances. I've always been relatively good with my money and I do put that down to being good at budgeting. I've always worked out what my outgoings are versus my income versus my assets versus my liabilities. And what that leaves you with is a very accurate amount that you know you can invest on a monthly basis. After that, you need to have mindset. If you don't have mindset, you will not keep or have the consistency to carry on and pull through these investments over a long term period. Again, this comes back to being cash poor and gold rich. By doing this consistently, you will ensure that you're consistently not leaving cash lying around, gaining next to no interest, while putting that money instead into investments where your money is going to work for you. Now, as we know, gold in itself is not going to make you rich, but it certainly will 
keep you rich. Now, some of you may say, well, gold isn't like an index fund, the Dow Jones, the S&P 500, or maybe property, because it doesn't really gain any interest. Once you buy a tangible asset like gold bullion, it's not really gaining any interest, is it? But it is preserving your wealth against inflation. If you were to leave that cash, say you were saving a lot of cash and you were letting it just build up, that money's not working for you. It's in fact lowering in value through inflation. Whereas if you decided to invest it in, say, bullion as one segment of your portfolio, you are essentially using gold as a wealth preservation device. It's keeping you rich. It's working for you by beating and hedging against that inflation. In the meantime, you can let your other sectors of your investment portfolio work for you in different ways. Maybe the index funds of the Dow Jones, the S&P 500, a fund of multiple different companies in one grouping to allow you to have a very consistent return on your investment. Thankfully, pretty much all from compound investments and interest. You could then also have property working for you to give you a passive income. Now, the goal of the sectors in your portfolio is to eventually make enough money that you could potentially retire early. You could eventually, if you do it well, actually make more money from your yielding returns than you earn in your day job. So cash poor and gold rich. You can understand the differences between the two now, I hope, that keeping cash in the bank or keeping cash stale does nothing for you. In fact, it actually does you a disbenefit because it's not working for you and it's actually losing value from inflation. So the key to becoming truly wealthy is to try and stay cash poor and keep gold rich. I use gold rich as a broad term across all of my investments as it's a very good way of trying to get the image across of how you can take that cash and invest it into either gold bullion, index funds, property or other forms of investment or passive income. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Now, I did promise that I've got a nice bonus for everyone at the end who stayed all the way till the end. And that is, in fact, a very cool unboxing. Now, for those of you that stayed till the end of the video, thank you very much for your time. It means an awful lot. Now, I have got an awesome unboxing from Addicted to precious metals. He sent me a message a short while ago that he would like to send me something in the post. Now, I actually don't know what this is. I have seen a few other YouTubers unboxing items from Addicted to Precious Metals, but I've tried not to watch them so I don't spoil this unboxing. So a big thank you to you, Addicted to Precious Metals. Very kind that you wanted to send me something for me to unbox here on the channel. So uh, I'll be leaving a link for your channel in the description below if you want to check it out. So it says, to future from Addicted to Precious Metals. Here we go. Let's try and open this up. Well, it's well packaged. I'm going to be a little bit ruthless and rip it open. Here we go. I actually have no idea what this is. I don't want to damage anything, so I'm going to carefully pull it out. Here we go. Wow, this is awesome. Oh, no way. Wow, this is amazing. Oh, my God. Wow, this is so cool. Here we go. Right, so there's some Pokemon cards. Now, if any of you don't know, I actually have a very valuable stack. You could call it an investment of Pokemon cards. So Addicted to Precious Metals clearly has been told by someone that I completely didn't see that on the back of this it said future. Thank you for all the support. Really enjoy your channel and content. PS365 mentioned you have Pokemon cards Addicted to Precious Metals. So sorry I didn't see that when I unboxed it. I just literally didn't see it. But uh, yeah, thank you for the very kind words. And uh, as I said, I'm, I had a suspicion that it may have been 365 that teed you up for the fact that i do have some pokemon cards so yeah thanks again i uh invest in pokemon cards because it's not something i've spoken a lot about on the channel or he's watched a fair amount of my videos and heard me talking about it so this is unreal to be given some pokemon cards and uh, i'm going to cherish these and put them with the rest of my stack so thank you very much let's go through them one of the legends mewtwo very good condition cards as well my favorite pokemon 
Gyarados, and it's a holographic card. This is amazing. I always love the fact that Gyarados evolved from Magikarp, such a small, irrelevant fish. Wow. Uh, Raichu, a holographic card. Wow, absolutely amazing. Ditto. I never thought I'd be doing a Pokemon reveal on this channel. Flareon, a really old school Pokemon that is uh, really cool. And the design on this is actually stunning. I can't believe you've uh, you've gifted me these cards. That is so precious. Uh, Charmander, absolute legend in the Pokemon game. A beautiful Charmeleon with a really lovely piece of artwork there. Their Pokemon has uh, really upped their game with their designs. I've got all my cards from the 90s. Wow, we've got a Charizard EX. And look at that holographic card. Absolutely stunning. I've got to take that one out of the packet. This is insane. Wow. I can't believe this, Addicted to Precious Metals. This is so generous. Thank you so much. Blastoise, one of my other favourite Pokemons. And I haven't got a single one of these cards. These are all more newer versions, which are insane. And uh, I feel very spoiled. You've caught me off guard a bit here. Addicted to Precious Metals. And Snorlax. Very, very nice. Sums me up recently as I've cut, I'm just coming over a cold. So, yeah. Wow. Oh, my God. Uh, Backyard Bullion. Uh, addicted to Precious Metals. He's got his own one gram silver bar. This is mental. And then we've got one gram on the back. Absolutely insane. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Another fantastic piece from a uh, Backyard Bullion with Addicted to Precious Metals stamped on the front there. Oh, my God. This is going to join my lovely 365 Days of Silver 1 Gram Silver Bar. That's in my silver stack. A fantastic sticker from Addicted to Precious Metals, which will be featuring on the backdrop here with the rest of my amazing stickers that you can see. This is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, Addicted to Precious Metals. I didn't realise that this was going to be the sort of unboxing that you had sent me. I had no idea. Very, very special. I appreciate it so much. I'll be sending you a, a message and uh, I'm blown away. So I, if I had have known the level of how this was, it was worthy of its own video. Um, but it's a bit late now. I've already added it, into, added it into the end. So thank you very much, Addicted to Precious Metals. Um, I can't say thank you enough. Very, very generous of you. Your channel will be linked in the description. So please go and check out Addicted to Precious Metals. He does fantastic bullion content uh, on an amazing stack, actually. And he's only just started um, collecting and investing in Precious Metals. So really great for him. Big thank you, buddy. And if you've watched all the way till the end of the video, thank you so much for your support. I know your time is very valuable and it does mean a lot. So until next time, I'll see all of you wonderful future investors in the very next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye, guys.